talk about the squared eel banjo. And how it came to be was, I was at an Alzheimer's fundraiser, and there was a young fellow there demonstrating drumming. And he had African talking drums and congas and bongos and all kinds of stuff. He had a couple of drums made out of scrap lumber and mailing tape. And he beat on them, and he gave it to the kids in the front row, and they beat on it, they passed it around, everybody beat on it, they passed it back, and it didn't break. And after we're packing our stuff up, I said to him, I've got to try that for a banjo body, because on my home planet, drum is a word we say when what we mean to say is banjo, that somebody was just too lazy to put a neck on. So I got me some 1x3 lumber, got me some 3M mailing tape, and believe me, I tried the cheaper stuff first. I am a cheap guy. Ask any woman I've ever dated, and they'll tell you. But the cheap stuff just doesn't work, especially mailing tape. I got 3M. I put a layer this way, a layer that way, a layer this way, a layer that way makes for a nice mellow drum. Then I put on the neck. I put on some cheap guitar tuners. The peg head is square because I thought it would be funny having a square banjo with a square peg head and a rectangular fifth string mount. I put strapping tape, fiberglass re reinforced strapping tape, under the bridge because this stuff does stretch if you press on it hard enough. And uh, after it's stretched in a while, you just tighten up these wedges here and it pulls the strapping tape right back up and gets the bridge up off the center stick that runs through the middle here. Because if the bridge is sitting on the center stick, it doesn't vibrate much, you don't get much sound. For the fingerboard, I just drew it on piece of paper, a strip of paper, and glued the paper on with uh, just plain Elmer's glue, and put a strip of mailing tape on top of the paper so that the frets would not rub off when I'm doing the slides. And also, advantage, if you beginner and you need to see where to put your fingers, you can see where to put your fingers. advantage if you're playing something with a lot of slides in it instead of having your fingers go bump 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 over all those little wire frets as you're doing your slide up you get a nice smooth so basically for uh, not a whole lot of money and not a whole lot of work you get a pretty good sounding banjo here now is Cripple Creek played with a lot of slides on the square deal banjo. Thanks for stopping by my site. Buy my stuff. <laughs>